So I'm playing Inferno, uh, Private Tote, and the starter deck Ironhide. Uh, I really wanted to build a deck with Inferno because I've just been, since wave one, I really wanted to do something with him and I haven't been able to find somebody good to, to pair him with. Um, and my brother and I had this this sort of idea to pair him with a high defense truck um, and then Private Tote um, allows you to untap Ironhide uh, for the, um, in this deck, the idea is to try and heroic team up Ironhide onto Inferno. That's the dream. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I can pull it off for the video because that would be great. And then your deck, this is a new deck that you've just, uh, you've been toying with. Kind of a work in progress. Um, I haven't used a lot of the 10 star cards um, together in a deck. Um, really trying to find a little bit of synergy there to have two 10 star characters and something else that can um, carry the team. So trying to use uh, Wave 2 Skywarp, Roadhugger, and Wave 2 Bumblebee together um, a lot of things to interchange um, I really want the deck to be interchangeable uh, with private trailbreaker um, so that you can swap uh, and have three different variations to the deck um, so if it did kind of formulate something into um, something competitive in nature uh, could really throw a wrench in the works as to what how you might play against it um, having three distinct uh, traits that kind of all intermingle. All right, so we rolled dice before we started the cameras. I'm gonna go first um, and we'll get started. Four. So I'm gonna flip Inferno and because of what I have in my Starting hands, I'm gonna swing at Skywarp with Inferno. Well, that's just fantastic. <laughs> All right. All right, so we're swinging for eight, nine. He's only blocking two of it. All right. So he's taking seven. I'm just trying to see if I want this escape route or not. Uh, I think I do. Alright. Alright, we're gonna flip Bumblebee here. We're gonna attack with Bumblebee, we're going to scrap an action from our hand, and we're going to draw two cards. Alright. Alright, and we're attacking for six. And I'm blocking six. Fantastic. Alright, draw a card. Play a security console onto Ironhide. I'm gonna flip Ironhide. And then I'm gonna pep talk to draw two cards. And then I'm gonna swing into Bumblebee with Ironhide. He's blocking one. Uh, four with one pierce. Flip to black pip. Alright, we're gonna flip Road Hugger here. We're gonna use this tap ability to scrap a blue card from our hand. To give Bumblebee plus three. Okay. 
then we're going to start our engines. So we're going to flip both of our guys back to car mode, and we're going to untap Bumblebee. We can also play an extra action. So Bumblebee's got plus three from Roadhugger. We're going to play a heavy handed and put Bumblebee up to 10. And he's going to have Pierce 4 if I attack Ironhide. Uh, or we can swing at Inferno here. So, well, let's go with Inferno. Alright, so swinging for 10 into Inferno. Blocking six. Taking four. All right, draw a card. I'm gonna play team up tactics to repair two damage. Nope, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna flip Inferno. To truck mode, then I'm going to play team up tactics to repair two damage. Uh, you've got no upgrades out, so can't do anything with his special ability. Cargo trailer under private tote, and uh, swing at Bumblebee. Because Roadhugger is stealth. Mm, yep. Bumblebee. Not much of a choice there. Blocking three. Alright. Attacking for three and one of its pierce. Well. I am going to team up tactics to draw two cards. I'm gonna flip Sky Warp. So, uh, once per turn, when you flip or play a battle card that has no battle icons, he gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. So, I'm gonna play a micro capacitor onto Roadhugger to give Sky Warp plus three, and then swing with him into. Let's go with Inferno. For seven. Blocking six. Taking one. Everybody on tail. Yep. Alright, draw a card. I'm gonna flip Inferno. I'm gonna put a Matrix of Leadership onto Inferno. Um, he's not a leader, uh, so he doesn't get the benefits of, uh, of the Matrix other than the plus one attack. I'm gonna heroic team up. I'm gonna tap one of my untapped Autobots, Ironhide, uh, and add its attack total to one of your untapped Autobots until end of turn, Inferno. And I'm going to swing at Bumblebee with Inferno. So he's attacking for 8, 9, and then plus 4, so 13. So 13. Only blocking 3. That's enough. See you later, Bumblebee. Yeah. That heroic team up is really devastating when it when it happens. Not leaving me a lot of options here. So I'm gonna flip Sky Warp. Nope. I'm gonna escape route Sky Warp. To return a card that has no battle icons from my scrap pile to my hand. take this 
laser launcher. I'm gonna flip Skywarp back over for my flip. I'm gonna play a laser launcher on him so he gets plus three. He gets plus three from the laser launcher so he has a nine attack right now. And then I'm gonna take a swing into Inferno. For nine. I'm blocking five. Taking four to seven. Alright, draw. I'm gonna flip Inferno. Uh, when you flip to this mode, return all upgrades on a character to their owner's hand. And choose Road Hunger. And then I'm gonna play a bigger they are onto Tote. So he gets plus two attack, and when he's attacking an enemy that has more stars than him, he's getting Pierce four. So he's going to swing into Skywarp. So Skywarp's going to get plus three, plus three for flipping a blank. So you're blocking three, four. four. I'm attacking for two, three, four, five, and four, five, six of it is Pierce. So that's five Pierce. Bye Skywarp. Wait, six of it's Pierce or five of it's Pierce? Uh, to I'm attacking for five total. Ah, two, Skywarp three, survives. four, five. Yeah, I got six Pierce, but I was only attacking for five damage. All right. And I'm gonna trade. Um, this escape route for this battlefield scan, and that goes away. I'm gonna flip Road Hugger. I'm going to play a micro capacitor on him. Skywarp gets his plus three ability. I'm going to tap Roadhugger to scrap a blue card from my hand and give him plus three more. He untaps from the micro capacitor. So Skywarp's got plus six right now. Then I'm going to swap missions. And tap road hugger. Nice. And then attack with sky warp. And let's see if we can finish off Inferno. So you're attacking, attacking for so you twelve. Get plus six from plus the three. blank card that you played. No, nope, only once per turn. So plus three from that. And then plus, plus three, three from, from road hugger. Road hugger. To give him plus six. So he's at nine. And then the weapon is twelve. Twelve. Nice. <laughs> So I'm 12. I'm only blocking four, so taking eight. Inferno is toast. All right, and then we untap. I draw my last card. Shuffle. I'm gonna burn pep talk for draw two cards. I'm gonna swing at Skywarp with Ironhide. So he gets plus three, plus three. Well, you got one Pierce coming through. That's yeah. That's enough. That's he would have blocked four. <laughs> Attacking for five total. All right. And one of it's Pierce. You just make it. <laughs> got a little lucky there with the flip. to play a micro capacitor onto road hugger we're gonna tap road hugger we're gonna scrap a blue card from our hand to give him plus three he untaps from the micro capacitor and he attacks iron hide for and he's swinging for six nice I'm gonna 
draw a card from the security console. And... Uh, yeah, I'll play it on. Blocking four. Taking two of that. Taking two. Let's draw a card. Right, I'm going to flip tote. I'm going to scrap a black card from my hand. To untap Ironhide. I'm gonna play an Energon Axe onto Ironhide. And then I'm gonna bigger they are Ironhide. And that should about do it. It's only blocking two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so two of its peers. He's taken seven. That's enough. All right, so I got the heroic team up, so I was pretty, I was pretty pumped about that. That that is a cool, a cool move there. I just couldn't deal enough early on to Inferno to take him out. Yeah, I mean the thing but. about this deck is that Inferno is three defense on both sides. He's Three defense in alt mode, three defense in bot mode. And he swings for, you know, as big as Battlefield Legend. He's eight attack in bot mode and six attack in uh, alt mode. The starter deck Ironhide, his alt mode, he's defending for three, which is at the beginning of the game. I was defending for six because I've got a few blue pips, double blue pips in this deck. Um... That's that's a big defense early on, six. I mean, even late game, six defense is nothing to shrug at. Um, and then Tote, because Ironhide is only six stars, Tote can untap him, which makes it so that you can attack with Ironhide twice or heroic team up with Ironhide and then untap him to then get an attack with him. Um... I didn't get to play it at all, but the I've got some RR Disruptor Blades in here. Um, if you don't flip a black while you're attacking, uh, you have to discard the card. Um, but with the heroic team-ups, if you can throw that on Ironhide, now he's plus six. And since he isn't the one that's attacking, he gets that bonus. And then he still, if you manage to untap him, uh, then he's swinging for six, and you almost don't care if it goes away or not. Now I do have a, uh, several black pips in here. I've got some smoke cloaks. I've got a couple of the RR disruptor blades. Um, got a couple of battlefield scans. Um, those are the battlefield scans are mostly in there uh, to green, green and black pip, so that I can grab it to use tote. Um, Plus, they have the added benefit of you can negate somebody's brave or stealth for a turn, you know, which is um, useful. And since everybody's a truck, I've got cargo trailers in the deck, uh, just in case <laughs> you can get them out because those all stack together. Um, so one is only plus one, but if you get two out there, now you get plus three. If you get manage to get all three out there, that's a plus nine to your attack. Um, so yeah, this is a fun little deck. Uh, we've we worked on it quite a bit to bring it to the point that it is now. Um, I don't know. I think it needs just more play testing against a wider variety of decks before we make another tweak to it. Um, the biggest thing about this deck is that there's only... Whew, you've only got 7 health, 5 health, that's 12, 23 health total. 
um, which is not a whole lot <laughs> for some of those other big swinging uh, decks that are out there. How did your playthrough go? You did some really cool stuff with... So, uh, <laughs> kind of a work in progress, but you saw some of the effects that can be had out there. Um, one of the big ones is getting that, playing that laser launcher onto Sky Warp. Um, by playing it, essentially that one card, it's like giving him plus six mm -hmm. on that turn. Yep. Uh, the three from the weapon and the three attack boost. Yeah, and then if you well. can also road hugger on that turn. Uh, yep, and because that's, that's your weapon, so if you can road hugger, um, potentially you can road hugger and uh, bigger they are, or heavy handed, or yeah. uh, <laughs> leap into battle. Um, we didn't see any of those really uh, in this game, yeah, but the potential's the there. Yeah. Uh, so that you can, you know, swing for 15. Uh, which is a pretty good swing. Um, even better if you can already have a microcapacitor out there a turn ahead of time. Yeah, and I mean, you can even just even just playing the laser launcher onto Bumblebee if for some reason, because he's not a he's not a small swinger either. He's swinging for nine there, and if you can road hugger, you're up to twelve again. Yeah, and sky if you can bigger they are. You know, if you lose Skywarp early for some reason, or if yeah. it just makes sense to, we didn't really get to see him. Skywarp showcase what he could do taking mm -hmm. seven on that first turn. Uh, this deck prefers to go first, yeah. Um, utilizing flipping Bumblebee, um, scrapping an action and drawing two cards, um, bolster your hand a little for further play with a Road Hugger down the road. Um, you really want Bumblebee to be your your main target there on that that first attack, and then Sky Warp um, really pulling stuff out of the scrap pile, the micro capacitors, um, Which and even rolling a lot and game. even rolling with the emergency defense fields, mm. um, trying to take no damage on a couple of attacks, um, prolonging uh, the ability of those characters, but. Uh, Skywarp taking half his health on the first attack uh, really wasn't doing me a whole lot of good. So Yeah, which um, just in general from playing in some competitive stuff now, um, Gen Con and Origins, I played in, in both of those tournaments trying to qualify for the, the Energon Invitational. Um, Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend is still a thing, even though he wasn't at gen con uh quite as much as he was at origins um but he that big swing with no that eight swing at the beginning of the game is kind of enormous um which is can be devastating <laughs> taking that much damage on your your first turn um but anyway these are a few of the you know this couple of the decks that we've been sort of toying with for for casual uh play um some stuff that you might not normally see together um but yeah there's a lot of potential out there in this transformers game it's one of the things that i love about it is just the you know sure those high level decks everybody wants to play them but i think there's a lot of potential out there for these other lesser known or lesser used characters that you know still has a lot of there's still a lot of meat there that i don't think anybody's taking a bite out of <laughs> so to speak i mean the guy that won gen con was using starter deck red alert nobody nobody did nobody did that nobody does that <laughs> so but anyway You know, if you have any ideas about how we can tweak these decks, or if you have ideas of your own using some of these characters, uh, maybe leave some comments for us, and we'll take a look and maybe revisit these decks, uh, you know, in a later video. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, yeah, please leave some comments below. Let us know what you think of this video. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.